first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel as many subscribers were keep on asking me to post videos for csat exam so from this year i will be posting a special video for the csat exam because csat is something a difficult exam so it requires time to prepare a proper content so from this year i will be posting a perfect video a full-fledged video that is for the csat exam so from today i will be posting videos and every week you can able to see one one video that is for a special video for csat exam so point number two regarding test series so there is a special test series that i have created only for the csat exam students so after purchasing the csat exam test series under that you can able to see the current affairs session so start practicing the current affairs and and below that you can able to see quantitative aptitude so now you can able to see five topics and if i posted one video for example today i will be posting video on set theory so if i if you can able to see after watching the video of set theory so you can able to see the test series on set theory so only after posting every videos the test series will be added on the same topic got it so before may month i will be completing the complete test series as well as a complete paper to quantitative aptitude mathematics so don't forget to purchase the test series and on the daily basis try to practice the test series also so point number three so in my youtube channel i have posted already all the quantitative aptitude topics it's completely free 100 percent free where you can able to watch time on work time on distance the complete quantitative aptitude as well as reasoning so just visit my website or visit my youtube channel feel free to learn you can able to find all the topics so first be strong on the basics only if you strong on the basics you can able to crack the question that is based on decision making because if you are preparing for c at exam most of the question are like a decision making you have to conclude whether conclusion one and two so which conclusion is true or false so if you need to solve this question you have to be strong on the basics so don't forget to watch all the topic videos all the topic videos on aptitude reasoning in my youtube channel and that too completely free got it so in case if you want to get all my youtube videos and offline in a pen drive mode or in a sd card mode so whatsapp us we will give you the all the videos of my youtube in the pen drive where you can able to watch without internet so point number four our telegram channel so this will be a new telegram channel that we have created only for the students who are preparing for the csat exam so if you are really preparing for the csat exam don't forget to join this group why because whenever we post video that is especially for the csat exam or whenever we post a series that is especially for the csat exam or ebooks we will upload everything on this telegram channel sometimes you will not receive the notification so we don't want to miss all those videos or all those ebooks so we will be uploading all the ebooks in the csat telegram channel or feel free to learn so if you are preparing for csat and remember one thing this channel will be deleted after may month once the paper to exam gets completed we will delete this telegram channel last fifth point so i am really really proud to teach for the csat exam so why because one day you are going to become uh, ias officer and ips officer so if i am if i am just helping you just point one percentage on your preparation i will be really really happy to do this service so definitely i will put my complete effort on each and every video that i will be posting for csat exam so if you watch this video you can able to find that how much effort i have taken all the questions from different different exams as well as UPSC, CSAT previous year starting from 2000 so it requires lot and lot of preparation but I will do that only because you are preparing for IAS and IPS officers so definitely my uh, help will be there on your preparation just point one percentage help for your preparation will definitely there feel free to learn will definitely help you on the preparation of quantitative aptitude as well as reasoning so let me move on to the topic now so friends now let me move on to the second topic that is Venn diagram based on three sets. So friends before watching this video don't forget to watch the previous video that is topic number one that is based on two sets. So inside the Venn diagram we have two categories one is two sets and another is three sets. So when you take the previous year uh, question papers previous memory based uh, question not the memory based exact question paper of csat exam for the past 10 years you can able to see for the six years where the question were asked only on the two sets that is previous lesson only for three years they have asked a question that is based on three sets so in two sets 
some questions were difficult, but when you take the previous year question paper of CSAT exam, that is based on three sets, so all the three questions were easy. So actually, this three sets, right, three sets uh, Venn diagram uh, will be asked in bank exams for five marks because that much difficult level the question will be. But here in a CSAT, they have asked not that much difficult level, at least a medium level question in your exams. So two sets, you have to prepare all kinds of model as well as you should know all the difficult question how to solve the Venn diagram that is based on two sets because 90% chance of asking only on the two sets. So remaining 10% where that is based on three sets, that too not a difficult level question, little bit medium to difficult, right? So. Uh, if you need to solve a question that is based on three set, so first you have to learn the previous video. So you have to know all the concepts of previous video that is based on two sets. What is the formula to find a total and how to decode a question and then uh, that pass percentage, fail percentage and how to uh, find this percentage is equal to how much value. So all the things I have taught you in the previous video itself. So don't forget to watch the complete video. Be strong on the concept and then try to watch this topic number two. Only then you can able to understand the concepts clearly, right? So now it is three sets, right? First, usually two sets, we draw two circles. If it is a three sets, you have to draw three circles, right? So first set, second set and the third set. So let me denote by some values. Let me keep this complete set number one as capital A and complete, complete set number two as capital B and set number three as capital C, right? So this will be A, B, C, D, E, F and G. And then there will be always there will be an outside value. Let me keep it as N, right? So N will be none or else uh, the values which are not inside the set, which is called as N, right? Outside the set. For example, let me keep the students who are preparing mat mathematics. Max will be capital A. And the physics will be capital B and the chemistry will be capital C. So if there are some students who are not learning any of the three subjects, there will be at the value of N. They are not participating in any of the subjects, right? which will be the value of N. So students who are preparing all the three subjects, which value will you take? Students who are preparing all the three subjects. So this G part, right? So this G area is called as the students who are preparing max as well as physics as well as chemistry. So we can say that students who are preparing all the three subjects will be the value of G. Next. So students who are preparing two subjects. So two subjects who are all. Just see, there is a difference between one, let me take only max and physics. Students who are preparing only max and physics or else students who are preparing both max and physics there is a difference right already i have told you in the previous video itself only is different both is different so if they ask like students who are preparing only max and physics will be e understood or not so e is the student who are preparing only max and physics so only max and physics will be e in case if they're asking a question like how many students are preparing max and physics? Not only, just max and physics. So you have to take E as well as you have to take G. So E plus G will be the total number of students who are preparing max and physics. So that's the difference between only max and physics, both max and physics. So similarly, if they're asking like student who are preparing only max and chemistry, who are preparing only max and chemistry? So only max and chemistry will be D. In case if they're asking like who are preparing both max and chemistry. So both max and chemistry will be D plus G. So similarly only physics and chemistry will be F. So both physics and chemistry will be G and the F. So don't forget that right. So and then only max. So only max and the max is different. So only max and then max. So in case if a question is like who are preparing only mathematics, so only mathematics will be A, right? So A is, th these are the number of students who are preparing only mathematics. So only mathematics will be A. So if the question is like how many students are preparing mathematics? So A is also studying max, E is also studying max, G is also studying max and D is also studying max. 
so in case if question be like how many students are preparing mathematics you have to take the complete value of this set so a e g and d so a e d and g so this will be the value of total number of students who are preparing max so similarly if the total number of students who are preparing physics so you have to take the complete set value b e g and f so only physics the value of b right so only chemistry is c so total chemistry will be c plus d plus g plus f so this this will be the total number of students who are preparing chemistry so in case uh, students who are not preparing any of the subjects so which means you have to add all these values and subtract with the total number of students so resultant value will be the students who are not preparing any of the subjects so which has taken us none right so none there is a value right so none will be the students who are not preparing any of the subjects so in order to find that value so there is a formula called total either you can use a total a total formula so you know in the previous uh, video that is based on two sets i have told you to learn that total formula so here it is not that much required in case if you want you can learn the total formula also right i will teach you what is called as total is equals to there there are only two sets but here we have three sets so capital a plus capital b plus capital c so minus of both a b got it so minus of both b c minus of both c a so plus all three that is g value plus none so actually this is the formula it is not required right most of the question you can solve uh, the based on three sets without a formula but in case if it required you can just buy out the formula it is easy to right so you have to add capital a value capital b value and capital c value so plus both a b both a b is nothing plus e and g value right so d g g f you have to subtract all the values plus this g value alone and plus this none value right when you add resultant will be total in case without learning the formula you can just like that add all the values a e b d g f and c so if you add all the values resultant will be the total number of students who are preparing for any of the subjects so minus of total so total number of students in a classroom so if you subtract both the values resultant will be the total number of students who are not preparing any of the subjects got it so this is the way we can find a solution for all the values in the sets so and then so be careful while substituting the value because uh, read the question completely right? you have to read the complete question and check whether they have given the students who are preparing all the three subjects so if you get this value right just listen here in the question itself in case in the question itself if they have given the value of g first point and second there are two cases in set number three one case inside the question itself in the given question itself they will give you the value of g if they have given the value of g 90 percentage of the question you have solved already because it will be easy to solve but in case if the value of g is not given in the question then you have to think and you have to solve the remaining 90 percentage only 10 percentage of data has been given friends understood or not so if the value of g is directly given in the question then you can say that 90 percentage of the solution is given in the question only 10 percentage you have to think and solve in case if the center value is not given then only 10 percentage of the data is given in the question you have to think and solve the remaining 90 percentage got it so in case if any one of the value is not given try to think and try to substitute the value or else use the formula total is equal to capital a capital b got it so in case if the b value is not given or f value is not given so those cases you can easily think and solve the question so again when compared to two sets and three sets mostly in the csat exam we can able to see only question on based on two sets at rare cases it was three sets and three sets there are two category very difficult question and a medium question so very difficult question was not at all asked in a csat exam why because it, it takes more than 10 or 15 minutes to solve a single question only those cases have asked in the bank exams not in the csat exam so in the csat exam in the three sets where you can able to find the question are medium to difficult level so i will be solving all the question that is based on medium to difficult level now so again i am saying read the question initially read the complete question right 
uh, don't read the first line and don't substitute the value read the complete data read the complete data what are all the things they have given in the question and then check whether they have given the center value or not in case if they have given the center value substitute the center value and then try to find the remaining values that will be easy in case if the center value was not given then you can directly find what is the value of a e b etc then it will be easy understood so now let me move on to uh, eight questions that is based on venn diagram three sets Question number one. So in a town, 45 percentage population read magazine A. So 55 percentage read magazine B and 40 percentage read magazine C. So by just reading the three lines of the given passage itself, we can find this question is from the topic called Venn diagram, the two, three sets. Why? Because they are talking about three data that is magazine A, magazine B and magazine C. So some of them are reading magazine A, some are reading magazine B and C. So definitely it is based upon Venn diagram. If they have only given two values, then it is two sets. Here they have given three values. So it is based on three sets. So let me consider this as magazine A and the magazine B and the magazine C. So here 45 percentage of the population read magazine A. So this complete magazine A was read by 45 percentage of the people. So 45 percentage. And magazine B is how much? 55 percentage. So this total value. So when you add all the values here inside the set, resultant will be 55 percentage. So similarly, when you read all the values inside the set C, resultant will be 40 percentage, right? So 40 percentage read magazine C. Next point. So 30 percentage read both magazine A and B. Just see here, 30 percentage of the people read both magazine A as well as magazine B. So both A and B will be this complete path, right? Don't substitute the value here. Just read the complete remaining passage. Check whether they have given the center value or not, right? So read the remaining lines. 30 percentage read both magazine A and B. 15 percentage read magazine B and C. 25 percentage read magazine A and C and 10 percentage read all the three magazines. Just see here, 10 percentage of the people read all the three magazines. So, which means the center value, right? Center value is 10 percentage. So, when understood or not, right? So, instead of substituting all the remaining values, first what I did is, I have just read the complete question. So in order to find whether inside the question they have given this center value or not. Yes, the center value has been given in the question. Just see the value. 10 percentage of the people who read all the three magazines. So now I have found the center value. If the center value is given, 90 percentage of the question is already solved. Only 10 percentage is remaining. Just see how easy it is. So 10 percentage were the people who are reading all the three magazines. So we know that. 30 percentage read magazine A and B. Yes or no? This complete path is 30 percentage. Already we know 10 percentage here. So remaining 20 percentage will be this area. So friends understood or not? So people who are reading magazine A as well as magazine B is 30 percentage. This complete area, right? This complete region is 30 percentage. Already we know that people who are reading all the three magazines is 10 percentage. So remaining 20 percentage you have to write here. Only then we can say 20 plus 10 will be 30. So the total will be 30 percentage. Easy or not? Let's just see the next value. 15 percentage read magazine B and C. So B and C is 15 percentage. Already we have written 10 percentage here. So this will be 5 percentage. So next value. So 25 percentage read magazine A and C. So A and C is 25 percentage. Already we have written 10 percentage here. Subtract. So this will be 25. So when you add 10 and 15 will be 25. 10 and 5 will be 15 percentage. So 10 and 20 will be 30 percentage. Understood or not? Now finding this value will also be very simple. So why? Because we know that when you add the complete values in the set, resultant will be the total 45 percentage, right? So 20, this will be 30. 30 plus 15 will be 45. So 45 percentage minus 45, there are no people who are learning only magazine A. So only magazine A will be 0 percentage of people. So that's, we have already just seen 20, 35 and 45. So here itself we are getting 45 percentage. We know that the complete set A is 45 percentage of people. So the people who are reading only magazine A is 0. So similarly, let me move on to the second value. So 20 plus 10 will be 30. 
30 plus 5 will be 35 percentage. So from 55, when you subtract 35, resultant will be 20 percentage. So 20 percentage of the people who are reading only magazine B. Similarly, only magazine C. So 15 plus 10 will be 25. 25 plus 5 will be 30 percentage. So 40 minus 30 will be 10 percentage remaining. So which means total number of people who are reading only magazine C will be 10 percentage. So finally, we have found all the values inside the set. So now what is the question? So what percentage do not read any of the magazines? Which means we have to find the value of none. Right? So our target is to find total number of people, that is total number of percentage who are not reading any of the magazines. So when just see here, we know the total who are all reading the magazines and we know the total number of people. Total number of people always we need to consider it as 100 percentage. So 100 percentage will be the total number of people. Just add all the values. 20 plus 20 will be 40. 40 plus 10 will be 50. So this will be 60. 60 plus 5, 5, 10 will be 70. 70 plus 10 will be 80. So 80 percentage of the people are reading any of any one of the magazines, right? When you add all the all the values which are inside the set, the total what we are getting is the people who are uh, reading any one of the magazines. So 80 percentage of the people who are reading any one of the magazines. Our target is to find who are not reading any magazines. We know the total is how much. 100 percentage. We know the total number of people reading any one of the magazine is how much? 80 percentage. So 100 percentage total minus people who are reading magazines is 80 percentage. When you subtract both the value, resultant will be 20. So which means total number of percentage of people who are not reading any of the magazine will be 20 percentage. So which will be the answer for the first question. So friends understood or not, right? How I am solving it. So always the question will be easy if you know the concept under percentage. So what I initially did is we know the question that is based on three sets. So I have drawn the three sets and the set one value, set two value, set three value all are directly given in the question itself. And second importantly, where I have not written the remaining values. I have just found by reading the complete passage whether the center value is given or not. Yes, here the center value is given. So after writing the center value, I try to find the remaining values. Why? Because that will be easy to find the answer. So I found the remaining values. So after finding the remaining values, our target is to find total number of people who are not reading any of the magazines. So I have just added all the values inside the set. And total, in case if the value is not given in the question, we always consider the total as 100 percentage. So from the 100 percentage, I have subtracted by adding all these values. So this value will be the total number of people who are reading at least one of the subjects or the, at least one of the newspaper. So 80% uh, of people reading at least one of the uh, any one of the newspapers. So total 100 minus 80 resultant will be 20. That 20% 20 will be the total number of people who are not reading any of the magazines. Right. So this will be the answer for question number one. Question number two. So out of a total 120 musicians in a club, 5% can play all the three instruments. That is guitar, violin and flute. So by reading the question itself, you can decide that this question is from the topic called set theory. Why? Because from the total, some amount of people are playing all the three instruments. So here the first instrument is what? Guitar. So first let me take this set 1 as guitar and the set 2 as what? Violin and the set 3 will be flute. So, and the first point itself, we can able to see 5% can play all the three instruments. In the first point itself, they have given the center value. Center value is how much? 5%. We know the total number of musicians is how much? 120. So, out of 120, you need to find what is 5%. So, 5% will be 5 by 100. So, cancel it. 0, 0, 5, 2 are 10. So, this will be 6 times. So, we can say that total number of musicians who can play all the three instruments will be 6. So we have found the center value is 6. By reading the first line itself, we have found what is the center value. So let me move on to the remaining value. So that happens the number of musicians who can play any two and only two of the above instrument is 30. So important word, just see here, any two or only two. The total will be how much is 30. So what is called as only two? 
total number of musicians who are playing only two. So this part. Yes or no? Right? The total number of musicians who are playing only guitar and violin. Which value will calculate? This value we will calculate. Similarly, guitar and flute only. So this is the value. So violin and flute only. We will calculate this value. So this only two determines these three values. Or else any two. So any two will be, we have, we have to consider the complete set. So this complete set, this complete set and this complete set. So from this uh, line in the question we can decide that all the three complete set values will be 30. This three value will be 30. So friends understood or not, right? So read that point again what they are saying. So the number of musicians who can play any two and only two of the above, the total is 30. So any two or else only two, the total is 30. So which means this three value will be to total is 30. And the center value, we already know that people who are uh, musicians who are uh, playing all the three um, instruments, which is six. And what is the next point? So who can play the guitar alone is 40. So total number of musicians who can play the guitar alone. Guitar alone will be this region is 40. So finally we found that this value is 40 and this 3 value is 30 and the center value is 6. So now what is our target? What is the total number of musicians who can play violin alone or flute alone? So violin alone will be this region. So flute alone will be this region. So we have to find what is the total number of uh, uh, musicians who can play violin alone and the flute alone. So how will you find the answer? Just see here, we know guitar alone is 40. Right? When you just add all the values, this will be 40, right? And this three values, how much? 30. So 40 will be guitar only. So plus both, right? So both this value, this value and this value is how much? 30. So plus the center value. Center value is how much? 6. So when you add all the three values, so 40 plus 30 will be 70. 70 plus 6 will be 76. So 76 people who are playing any of this, you can say guitar, and both and then center right so 76 how much total musicians are there 120 so from 120 when you subtract this 76 resultant will be 44 so this 44 musicians will be playing only flute and only violin because we have added all the remaining values yes or no so when you add all the remaining values resultant will be these two question marks so i have just added all the remaining value which is 76 we know the total number of musicians is 120. So 120, I have subtracted this 76, resultant will be 44. So this remaining value 44 will be these two question mark values. So only violin and only flute. So finally, according to the question, we found the total number of musicians who can play only violin and only flute will be 44. So which will be the answer for question number two. So when understood or not, right? Easy question. So only thing is you need to be careful on that point alone. So any two and only two of the above instruments, which is 30. So which means that this complete part value is 30. And we already know that the center value is uh, 6, what we found from 5 percentage of 120. And then we found only guitar value. So what I did is I have added all the, these values, this, this and this. So once if we add all the values, the remaining value will be the remaining two question mark values. That, that is the thing what we need to find. So we can say that the question mark that is uh, total number of musicians who can play only violin and only flute will be 44. So which is the answer for question number 2. Question number 3. So the given diagram shows that the number of students who failed in the examination comprising the papers in English, Hindi and Mathematics. So the total number of students who took the test is 500. So what is the percentage of students who failed in at least two subjects? So when just see here, in this question, we don't want to draw the diagram. Why? Because already the diagram is given in the question itself. They have given in the English and mathematics. So only English is 30, only in the 75, only mathematics is 80. And the center value. So students who failed in all the three subjects is 5. And only 2 is 10, 12, 12. So all the values they have given in the question itself. They have given the diagram itself. So now what is the target? What is the percentage of students who failed in at least to two subjects. What is the meaning of at least two subjects? So at least two subjects. So the meaning of the word at least will be minimum 
to maximum right so minimum to maximum so don't forget this if you are preparing for csat exam you might definitely know this meaning of the word at least at most so if you don't know at least at least now try to learn it so at least will be minimum to maximum so at least two subjects students those who failed at least in two subjects that is minimum two subjects how many students have failed and the maximum will be the total three subjects how many students have failed just see here minimum two subjects overall failed 10 students who failed english and hindi so at least two subjects that is minimum two will be 10 and english and mathematics 12 students failed so plus hindi and mathematics again 12 so how much is total so 10 12 will be 22 so 22 32 and 34 so total 34 students who got failed in minimum two subjects and the maximum three that is uh, students who had failed in all the three all the three is how much five so five students who failed in all the three so 34 plus 5 will be 39 so we can say that so totally 39 students who got failed in at least two subjects so we have to find not the total number of students our target is to find what is the percentage of students how much percentage of students so how much person how much number of students here 39 total students in a classroom is how much 500 so into 100 that's it right we have to find the value in percentage so cancel 0 0 0 0 here so cancel it uh, 7 5 are 35 so remaining will be 4 8 fives are 40 so 7.8 so 7.8 percentage of students who got failed in at least two subjects so when's easy or not right so only if you know the meaning of at least two subjects you can able to crack this question so again what is the meaning of at you should know what is the meaning of at least and at most so at least will be minimum to maximum so minimum two students that is minimum two subjects who are all failed and the maximum three subjects so two subjects overall failed will be 10 12 12 and maximum three subjects will be 5 total will be 39 in case if they ask a question like at most to two subjects what is the meaning of it at most to two i can solve and show you right i can run this answer will be 7.8 percentage right so at most at most to two subjects So what is the meaning of at most at most will be maximum right maximum to minimum plus none so don't forget this right so in case of the question is like how many students who got failed in at most to two subject the meaning here is maximum to minimum one right this will be maximum two subjects and this will be one subject who are all failed and then none none will be students who are not failed in any of the comp exams right that will be the none who has passed the students should be considered here so when you add all the values divided by 500 that is total number of students in a classroom into 100 so resultant will be the students who got failed percentage of at least at most two subjects so when's understood or not so at least and at most so at least will be minimum to maximum at most will be maximum to minimum plus none so these two words are most important in the topic called probability you know if you if you know the probability topic you might know this uh, at least four balls at least two balls at least two cards at least two green color balls you have to pick out of 52 balls you have to pick at least two red colors so if you are preparing for a competitive exam csat or any competitive exams you should know the meaning of these two at least and at most and mostly you can able to see these two words question only on the topic called probability that is based on color balls concept there is a concept called color balls out of 100 balls you have to pick at least uh, two red balls so you you will be like finding minimum two and the maximum right so that is the way we solve the question so uh, from this question number three we have we have solved the question normally but you have to understand these two concepts at least and at most right what is the answer that we got i don't know seven point uh, seven point eight something that will be the answer for question number three question number four a survey was conducted on a samples of thousand person 
with reference to their knowledge of English, French and German. So totally how many persons are there? Thousand persons, right? And by reading the question, you can able to see there have given three data. I think in the question itself, they have given a diagram itself, right? The Venn diagram itself directly given. So German, French and English. So what is the target? The ratio of number of person who do not know any of the three languages to the person who know all the three languages. So when just see here, our target is to find the ratio. Ratio for what? The total number of person who do not know any of the three languages to that of total number of people who know all the three languages. We know that in the direct diagram itself, all the three languages is how much? 175. So 175 will be the total number of person who knows all the three languages. But we have to find the ratio for who don't know all the three languages is to total number of person who know all the three languages. So we know all the three languages is 175. So how to find the people who are not knowing all the three languages? Just now I have told you, when you add all the values in the given set, resultant will be the total number of people who are reading at least one, who know at least one of these three languages. So let me add all the values. So 170, 105, so 170, 105, 180, 175, 85, 78 and 200. So we have to add, no other way. So 5 plus 5 will be 10. So 10 plus 5 will be 15. So 15 plus 8 will be 23. So remaining will be 2. So 8 plus 2 will be 10. So 1, 2, 3, 21. So 31, right? So 31 plus 8, so 9. So remaining 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 993. So 993 will be the total number of person who knows any one of the language, either German, French or English. But these are the people, 993 will be the total number of people who know any one of the languages. And what about the total? Total is 1000. So out of 1000, when you subtract this 993, resultant will be the 7. So 7 will be the total number of person who does not know any of the languages. And we know the total number of person who knows all the three languages will be 175. And now we found the total number of person who does not know any of the languages which is 7. So we have to find the ratio that is 7 is to 175. So when you cancel it, so this will be 1 times cancel on 7. So 7 twos are 14, so 20. So we can say that answer for this question where the ratio will be 1 is to 25. So this will be the answer for question number 4. It's easy question actually this question was asked in UPSC 1997. In the year of 1997 they have asked this question because in the previous uh, recent years we can't able to see the question that is from Venn diagram 3 sets. Most probably in the previous year we can able to see question that is based on Venn diagram 2 sets. So that's what I have taken some uh, old question papers 1997 and the previous question what we solved is a UPSC 2000 year, the year of 2000, they have asked the question. And the first question what we solved is 2012 or 13, I don't know exactly. But most of the question you can able to see the question that is based on Venn diagram 3 sets was not asked in the recent years. It was asked more than 10 years or 8 years back. But you have to remember one thing, if you are preparing for a CSAT exams or any competitive exams, you should not miss any topic. You should always prepare all the topics, right? So that's it friends. So answer for question number 4 where the ratio will be 1 is to 25. Question number 5. So 500 students are taking one or more courses out of chemistry, physics and max. So, so totally there are three subjects. One is chemistry and the second is, so let me consider this. This will be chemistry and the second will be physics and third set will be max. So totally there are three subjects. So just listen the word carefully, 500 students, the total number of students is how much 500? 500 students are taking one or more courses. So one or more courses. What is the meaning of it? In the previous video itself, I have told you each and every student or all the student, one or more student. So which means that total there are 500 students, right? Out of this 500 students where one or more courses they have enrolled, the meaning here is all the 500 students are studying any one of the subjects. So friends understood or not? So 500, there are total number of students in the classroom is 500. So just read the question, there are 500 students are taking one or more courses. 
So the meaning here is all the 500 students are studying one course or two course or all the three course. But from this point, we came to know that if all the students are studying, then the none will be zero. So friends, understood or not? Right? Students who are not studying any of the subject will be zero. So from this point, we came to know that the none value will be zero. Right? That is most important. Because some students will get confused that if there are total 500 students, there can be some students who are not preparing any of the subjects. So that's the reason they have given this important word, one or more courses. The meaning here is all the students, 500 students are either studying one course or two course or all the three course. So from this point, what we came to know that if all the students are preparing, then the none, student who are not preparing any of the subjects will be zero. Understood? So first point. So the total number of students who are enrolled in chemistry is how much? 329. So total chemistry will be 329. Got it. And the total physics is how much? 186. And the chemistry, sorry, and mathematics is how much? 295. And the total number of students who enrolled in chemistry and physics. So chemistry and physics will be this complete region, right? So this complete region is how much? 83. So first let me find the center value. Because instead of writing this value, let me find the center. Uh, chemistry and physics is 83. Chemistry and max is 217. Physics and mathematics is 63. So how many students are taking all the three subjects? Just see here, our target is to find what is the center value. Understood or not? So how many students are taking all the three subjects? That is the center value we need to find it. So in order to find the center, where all the remaining values are known, right? So we know the total is 329 and we know the total value of this will be how much? 83, 217, 63, all the values they have given. But our target is to find what is the center value, the total number of students who are preparing all the three subjects. The only way is to find the formula. What is the formula I have told you? Total. So total is how much? 500 students. So 500 is equals to what is the formula that I have told you? A plus B plus C. So A will be 329. So capital A, capital B is 186. So plus capital C will be 295. Minus of, minus of both AB. So both AB will be this part. So this part is how much? Chemistry and physics is 83. So minus of chemistry and the max is 217. And the last will be how much? Mathem physics and mathematics is 63. So usually in the formula we have plus all the three. So all the three, which is question mark. So plus none, none will be zero. So you don't want to consider this value, that's it. So when you add and subtract with the value and subtract with the total number of students, so resultant value will be the total number of students who are preparing for all the three exams, right? So now let me add all the values. So this will be 500 is equals to, so nine, this will be uh, 15, 20, right? So two, eight, 10, 19 so 800 and sorry 3 4 5 6 810 so 810 minus of so this we have to add 7 plus 3 will be 10 remaining will be 3 so 8 9 10 16 363 so this will be 363 so plus question mark so 500 is equals to 810 minus 363 plus question mark and our target is to find the total number of people who are preparing for all the three competitive exams so all the three subjects which will be x so now we can subtract this so 810 347 yes 447 so 500 so plus question mark so question mark is equals to 500 minus 447 so question mark is equals to 53 so answer for this question will be question mark is equal to 53 so which means so totally 53 students who are taking all the three subjects so all the three subjects will be 53 so i have told you right in the initial stage itself i have told you sometimes the formula is needed and most of the time the formula is not needed in case if we if they have not given the center value mostly you have to use the formula or without formula you can find it you can just add all the three value and subtract with the center value why we are subtracting here is because here you can able to see 83 will be the total number of students right so 83 will be the total number of students who are preparing chemistry as well as physics and similarly 217 this region 
So here you can able to see this region are coming in this value also we can able to shade this region. This value also we are shading this region that's the reason in order to subtract that right uh, embedded uh, region again and again we are like subtracting minus 217 minus 63 etc. And then we are adding with the center value. This is the way we usually find the center value by the formula right. So if you practice more number of questions without learning a formula you can directly write this value. So initial stage of the video itself I have told you the formula. So in case if you forget that I can, I can write the formula again. Take a note of it which is most important. So total is equals to total is equal to capital A. So capital A is nothing but the first set complete value of the first set. So plus capital B second set plus capital C will be the third set. So minus of both AB. So both AB is nothing but just now I told you physics and chemistry that complete value. Similarly minus of both BC. Minus of both CA. So plus none. None will be the outside value. So plus all three. All three is nothing but the center value, right? The center value will be all three. The none will be the value which is outside the set. And remaining values, you have to subtract these three values with this value and then add none and all three. So when you after finding all the values, if you subtract with the total, resultant will be all three. Got it? So this is the important formula that you need to remember in uh, three sets. In two sets also, it's very simple. In three sets, we have another word that is C. If it is a two sets, there will be a formula. In the formula, you will have only A and B. That's the difference. Got it? So which is the answer for question number five. Question number six. So in a class of 345 students, the students who took English, Max and Science are equal in number. So there are 30 students who took both English and Max. So by reading the question, we can decide that there are three data. One is English. So let me draw the diagram, right? So first circle will be for English and second circle will be for Max and the third circle will be for Science. So totally there are three sets. And what they are saying is, uh, or equal in numbers. For example, students who take English and who take Max and who take Science are all the three are equal, right? So English total will be equal. So similarly, Max total will be equal and Science total will be equal. So all three are equal. So what we can do is we don't know the value, right? So let me take it as A. So A will be the value of English, Max and Science because all are equal values. So next point, there are 30 students who took both English and the Max. So English and Max, the total will be 30. And similarly, 26 who took both Max and Science. So Max and Science and similarly, 28 will be Science and English. 14 who took all the three subjects. There are 43 students who did not take any of the subjects. Just see here, there are 43 students who does not take any of the subjects. So which means none is 43. So outside the sets. So none is 43. So now what we need to find is answer the question according to the given data. What percentage of students did not take the science? So our target is to find what percentage of students who did not take the science. And what about the total number of students? So total number of students is 345. So I think we need to find all the values here, right? So we know this will be total will be 14. So finding all the three values will be easy. But this value, okay, so what we can do here is, let me do one thing. First, we can find all these values, right? Just what we can do is total, right? So total is equals to, so capital A plus capital B plus capital C. We know that all the three values are same. Yes or no? Because this value, this set number one total value, set number two total value and three total value are same. So we have already considered as A, right? So let me mention capital A, capital B, capital C. So all the value will be A plus A plus A will be 3A. So minus of both AB, right? Both AB is how much? 26 students who took Max and Science. So minus of 26. So minus of 28. So minus of 14. So plus and all three, all three will be 14, right? So all three will be 14 and uh, 26, 28, 30. Sorry, 26, 28 and 30. 
so plus 14 who are reading all the three subjects and the plus none so none will be 43 so this is the formula what we learnt in the initial stage of the video as well as in the previous previous question also i have told you the same thing what is the formula for total right so here the total will be 345 so 345 so plus 3a right so 345 is equals to 3a so let me add all the values so 28 this will be uh, 14 so remaining will be 1 so 2 4 7 and 8 minus 84 so plus 43 so 14 7 57 so 3 45 so plus 84 so minus 57 is equals to 3a so let me add this value so 5 plus 4 will be 9 so 12 remaining will be 1 4 29 minus 57 is equal to 3a so 9 minus 7 9 minus 7 will be 2 and here it is 12 3 so 12 and 5 will be 7 is equals to 3a so a is equals to 1 3 is a 3 2 3 is a 6 remaining will be 4 4 3 is a 12 so value of a will be 124 right so finally we got the value of a is 124 which means this value will be 124 because we know that all the values will be same so 124 and this will also be 124 so finally we got set 1 set 2 set 3 the total will be 124 and we already know that the center value center value the total number of uh, students who are reading who are studying all the three subjects how much it is 14 and uh, we already know that the total number of students who are reading english and max so english and max is how much 30 so we have we have already written 14 here so subtract 30 14 will be 16 here got it and similarly 26 max and science so max and science will be 26 so already we have written 14 here so remaining will be 12 and uh, english and science english and science is how much 28 already we have written 14 here so this will be 14 so when you add all the three right so after adding all the three subtract with the 124 so resultant value will be this region so 16 this will be 30 30 plus uh, 14 will be 30 44 so 124 minus 44 resultant will be 80 so we can say that this value will be 80 so similarly we have to find all the remaining values so 124 this will be 30 so 30 plus 12 will be 40 and this will be 82 so we can say that next 124 so 14 28 38 40 so this will be 84 so we can say that 80, 82 and 84 where only English will be 80, only Max will be 82 and only Science will be 84. So now what is our target? Our target is to find what percentage of students who did not take Science. Just here we know how many who did not take Science, right? So we need to find that percentage. 84 number of students who are studying only Science. This 14 students is also studying Science. This 14 is also studying Science. This 12 is also studying science understood or not right we have to find the total percentage of students who are not studying science so all the values that are inside this set are studying science what are all the values that are not inside the set 18 16 and 82 let me add all the values so 6 plus 2 will be 8 so i can write here so 8 and then remaining values so 8 plus 1 will be 9 so 9 will be 178 so 178 will be the total number of students who are not learning the science divided by the total number of students inside the subject right so english max and the science total number of students is how much 343 you should not write 345 here why because we know that 43 students who are not preparing that is who are not studying any of the subjects so 345 minus uh, 43 resultant will be uh, 302 so 302 into 100 understood or not right so we need to cancel and we need to find the answer for it so most probably it will be 550 times because you can cancel this on one table right one this will be two times so five times 59 point approximately right so let me take the approximate answer as 59 percentage so friends understood or not
so this is the way you need to solve this question but what if you know the concept right if you know the concept how to find all these value then solving a question is very simple so friends understood or not right so this is the most important question again they they have initially told that so the students who are learning english max and science all are same so we have considered all the three values as a and by using the formula we initially find what is the value of total number of students who are studying english max and science so by using the total formula by keeping all the three values as a a a so resultant will be 3a so we have found initially what is the value of a which is 124 so the total number of set 1 is 124 and we know all the remaining three values so adding the three values subtracting with 124 resultant will be the total number of students who are preparing only english and only max and only science so after knowing all the three values and our target is to find what is the percentage of students who are not learning science if they are not learning science they should not comes under this set so complete shaded region value we should not take right so the remaining values that are unshaded region will be 82 16 and 80 so students who are not learning science so 80 16 and 82 which is 175 so most of the students will make a mistake they will divide by three total number of students usually they will do this mistake kindly don't do this why because when you our target is to find the total number of students who are not studying the science so we can say that out of total students who are reading all the three subjects so which means 345 minus 43 the remaining number of students who are reading at least one of the subjects out of this total three not two students where the students who are not studying science is 178 in 200 so resultant answer will be 59 percentage last question so out of 100 families in a neighborhood 15 have radio, 75 have TV and 25 have VCR. So friends, it's very important question, right? Very, very important question. Why? Because I think it was the uh, CAT exam, memory based question paper of a CAT exam. So the question looks very simple, but you know, the way that you need to solve the question is most important. Only if you know that concept, you can able to solve the question. Just listen here, total number of families is how much there are 100 families, right? And there are three parts, one is a radio and a TV as well as VCR. So first what we can do is, let me take this circle as a radio and this will be television and this will be VCR. I have seen many students are solving in a different, different way. So I will teach you which method is best for you and in case, if you didn't understand, if you can't able to understand this method, just comment as I will, I will try to teach you a different method on the next, next videos, right? So I will teach you this method is one of the easy way to crack this question, right? Uh, so only I'm teaching you this method. Just see here, 50 have radios. So total number of uh, family will be 50 who has radios and uh, 20, 75 will be television and 25 will be VCR. And 10 families have all the three. So this 10 family will have all the three. So if some families have radio only, how many have only TV? So what is our target is, I think I have missed one of the line here, important line here. Just see here, only 10 families have all the three and each VCR owner also have a TV. Just read the word carefully. Each VCR owner, each VCR owner, right, have a TV also. So the meaning here is, and our target is to find what? Our target is to find how many have only TV, this region. So this is our target. Our target is to find how many have only TV, right? But before that, they have one point that each VCR owner also have a TV. So VCR owner, this is called as a VCR owner, right? So all these parts. So all these parts is called as a VCR owner who have TV also, right? So total VCR owner is how much? 25. Already we have 10 people here, 10 families here. So what about the remaining here? So remaining will be 15. So friends understood or not? How I wrote 15 here. So already we know that to total of VCR people, families are 25. Already we have 10 families who are watching all the three. So remaining 50, 15 will be comes here. Why? Because we know that each VCR owner will also have a TV. That's the reason I have written the remaining 15 here. So now we have to find this value without knowing this value, right? Without knowing this value, we can't able to find the total number of families who has only TV. So we know that this total circle is how much? 50. So what I can do here is, first let me take this, just listen carefully. First I am going to take this value as X, right? 
So now we know the total is how much? Total set is how much? 75. So 75, where did we add all the values? This is 10, this is 15. First add these two values. 10 and the 15 will be 25. 75 minus 25 will be 50. So this part will be 50 minus x. So friends understood how I wrote this. Just got it, right? So this total set value is 75. Our target is to find this value, the total number of families who are watching only television. So before finding that, only if I know this value, I can able to find this value. So what I did is, so remaining two value, 10 plus 15 will be 25. From the total 75, I have subtracted 25, remaining is 50. So 50 minus x resultant will be this area. So similarly, let me come to this part. We know that the total number of people, the total number of families who are watching radio is 50. Already we have 10 here. So 50 minus 10 is how much? 40. So resultant will be 40 minus x. So now we got all the values, right? This value is not important because this value we considered here. So this complete part is missing, right? So we don't want to take all these values. So now let me add all the values. Equate with the total family 100. We will get what is the value of x. After finding the value of x, substitute here, the resultant va value will be the total number of families who are watching only television. Just see here, so let me add 40 minus x, so plus x, plus 50 minus x, plus 10, plus 15. So just adding all the values is equals to the total number of family that is 100. So we can uh, eliminate minus x and the plus x here. What about the remaining values? So 40 plus uh, 40 plus 50 will be 90, 90 plus 10 will be 100, so this will be 100, so 100 plus uh, 15 will be 115, so 115 minus of 100 is equal to x, so x is equal to 15. So substitute 15 here, so 15 minus 15 will be 35. So finally, we can say that the total number of uh, uh, families who are watching only television will be 35. So which will be the answer for this question. Friends, understood or not, right? So very important question because the concepts are more important. So this was the CAT exam question, I think some memory based question. So uh, practice again, practice is more important. That's it. The next video will be another topics for the quantitative aptitude reasoning for CSAT exam. So now in the first two topic we have learned what is called as Venn diagram and how to solve the question that is based on two sets as well as three sets. Most probably three sets questions give little bit importance only for the two sets because in most of the previous year CSAT exams they have asked question only on two sets. And um, most of the question are difficult level question but in the previous video I have taught you all the cases of two sets. So now in this video, I have taught you all the cases of three sets. There are, again, there are many concepts in three sets, but those cases are not needed here. Because uh, when we see the previous year question papers, they have concentrated only on medium to uh, little bit art level in this three set area. So only I have taught you all the cases as well as this last question is most important. It's a memory based question of CAT exam. Right? So friends, what you need to do is go and after uh, learning two sets and three sets after a week, not today, after a week, try to write the test series on the set theory, on the same question, on the same topic in my uh, website or, or else in my mobile application. So there is a column called CSAT, click on the CSAT if you already purchased it. So click on the CSAT, you can able to see set theory in quantitative aptitude session. So click on it and write two set and three sets. So only then you can know that how you are strong in the set theory concepts. So. Uh, Keep on revising the exam. I think exam is on May month, uh, next year May month. So keep on revising. So definitely you can able to clear this uh, CSAT paper to exam. But it requires more and more number of practice. So friends, in case if you want to get all my videos offline, just WhatsApp us uh, to the given number. We will tell you, the team will tell you the details and you can get all my YouTube videos offline. So thank you so much for watching this video, friends. And if you really like it, share the video to your friends. Those are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much. Bye.